founder of ShareCare Ghana, an association for persons with autoimmune and neurological conditions, Nanaya Ajiman, wasn't born physically challenged. The 59-year-old lived her life like every other abled person until the unexpected happened. I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis in 2003. After suffering this condition from 1996, this condition mean, being in 1996, I went through what people thought was malaria, doctors thought was malaria, typhoid, all sorts of symptoms. Eventually, it was numbness in my fingers. Having worked for about 12 years and not being able to walk again brought a sudden change. I was working with the media, I was all over the place. Initially, it was not easy. It wasn't easy because it was a big, a, a big shift from um, a very active media person to sudden not being able to do anything for yourself. She tells me her husband was very supportive. In 1997, she started walking again, but had a massive relapse in 2003. One thing that shocked her after her disability was a realization that society is not disability friendly. It's only when I became disabled that I realized persons with disability are not included in every facet of the society. In fact, it's when I joined the GFD that I realized the kind of advocacy that has gone on over the years, there are still things going on that don't think of inclusion. I met Nanaya Ajiman at the Accra Rehab Centre, where this year's International Day of Persons with Disability was held. Themed Disability Inclusion in the Sustainable Development Goals, Renewing Commitments and Mobilising Support from Stakeholders, speakers touched on relevant topics. Stability inclusion. When we approach it as a development issue, it does mean that right from planning to implementation and evaluation, we are looking at it critically. We must take advantage of educational opportunities that exist for us. We must continue to strengthen our advocacy and activism for employment and we must continue to press government hard for policies, legislations and by laws that will facilitate our inclusion and participation. For participants and stakeholders at the event, empowerment of persons with disabilities for inclusive equitable and sustainable development as envisaged in the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development cannot be overlooked.